In this video, I will take one example on initial conditions. For the network shown below, switch is closed at t equal to 0. Determine i di by dt d square i by dt square at t equal to 0 plus. This is the given circuit RLC circuit, series RLC circuit. Here we can see that there is a switch named as k. The switch is closed at t equal to 0. It means at t equal to 0 minus the switch is opened. We are supposed to find the current in the circuit, first derivative of current and second derivative of current at t equal to 0 plus. So as we know, t equal to 0 plus is the period immediately when switch is closed. So now, as here it is said, at t equal to 0, the switch will close. At t equal to 0, the switch will close. The time immediately after at t equal to 0 is known as 0 plus. And as we know, at t equal to 0 plus, that is at t equal to 0 plus, inductor acts like open circuit and capacitor acts like short circuit. That is inductor acts like open circuit and capacitor acts like short circuit. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 plus. So this is the circuit at t equal to 0 plus. Here as I shown there was an inductor that is open circuited and there was a capacitor it is short circuited. Now here we can see that because of this open no current flows in the circuit that is current in the circuit is 0. So at t equal to 0 plus current in the circuit that is i of t, t is 0 plus i of 0 plus is equal to 0. Similarly, we can see that when i of 0 plus is 0, voltage across capacitor is 0. That is, Vc of 0 plus is equal to 0, which is also we can say that i of 0 minus. That is, before closing the switch, the initial current was 0. So, it is i of 0 minus. So, i of 0 minus is always equal to i of 0 plus. Similarly, here Vc of 0 minus that is at t equal to 0 minus the voltage across capacitor was 0 therefore Vc of 0 minus is always equal to Vc of 0 plus. Now we will see what happens when t is greater than or equal to 0. Now at t greater than or equal to 0 plus as we know at t greater than or equal to 0 plus the switch will be in the closed state switch will be in closed closed state now we supposed to apply kvl to the circuit considering all the elements as it is for this that is i can write 10 is equal to we have voltage across 2 ohm register is 2 i of t plus voltage across inductor is as we know voltage across inductor is represented as so first let me take it as general that is here we have r r i of t then l d i of t by dt plus then we have capacitor here so voltage across capacitor is represented as 1 over c integration of i of t into dt so now let me consider t equal to 0 plus so let me take t equal to 0 plus i can write it as 10 is equal to r value is given that is 2 that is 2 into i of 0 plus because we are considering t equal to 0 plus plus l d i of 0 plus divided by dt plus so here we can see that this is nothing but voltage across capacitor that is vc of 0 plus so vc of 0 plus is nothing but already it is 0 so therefore this term will be 0 now let me simplify this further we have 10 is equal to 2 into i of 0 plus plus we have l l value is 1 henry that is 1 into di of 0 plus by dt now let me simplify this further that is 10 is equal to 
so here we can see that i of 0 plus is equal to 0 so let me substitute i of 0 value so 2 into 0 is 0 plus here we have 1 into d i of 0 plus by dt so therefore we can write d i of 0 plus by dt is equal to 10 amps per second so this is first derivative of current at t equal to 0 plus that is we found i of 0 plus which is 0 now we found d i of 0 plus by dt now let us find second derivative of current at t equal to 0 plus so now to find second derivative of the current let me differentiate this equation that is equation number 1 because in this equation we have the term l d i of t by dt if we differentiate this statement or this equation we can get a second derivative of current so let me differentiate equation number 1 that is differentiate equation 1 so therefore we can get so differentiation of constant is 0 so we can write 0 is equal to so here we have r i of t that is differentiation of r i of t is nothing but r is constant that is r d i of t by dt so i can write r d i of t by dt plus then we have l d i of t by dt this will becomes l d square i of t by dt plus so here already we have integration so differentiating this expression integration and differentiation will get cancelled we will get i of t divided by c that is i of t divided by c so let me call it as equation 2 let me rewrite equation number 2 at t equal to 0 plus that is at t equal to 0 plus equation 2 can be written as so that is we have 0 is equal to 0 is equal to so r value is 2, 2 ohm let me write that that is 2 into d i of 0 plus by d t because here we have t at t equal to 0 plus it will be d i of 0 plus by d t similarly here it is l d square i of 0 plus by d t square so l value is 1 henry so i can write it as 1 into d square i of 0 plus divided by d t square then we have the term i of t that will become i of 0 plus i of 0 plus divided by c so c value is here we have 1 by 2 farad so it is 1 by 2 let me simplify this further that is 0 is equal to 2 into so di of 0 plus by dt so already we have found di of 0 plus by dt that is nothing but 10 so let me write 10 plus we have we supposed to find this value keep it as it is the square i of 0 plus by dt square plus here we have i of 0 plus so as we know i of 0 plus value is 0 so therefore this entire term will be 0 so therefore now i can write further i can simplify this as 0 is equal to we have 20 plus d square i of 0 plus by dt square so therefore i can write d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus 20 amperes per second square so thus we found all parameters that is i of 0 plus is equal to 0 we have d i of 0 plus by dt which is equal to we have 10 amperes per second and we have d square i of 0 plus 
by dt square is equal to minus 20 amperes per second square. Thank you for watching.